Thank you. New York. I'm also not here alone guys, I'm here with a boy. <laughs> but can we pretend like I'm alone? Can we pretend I'm cool? Can we pretend like it's a solo trip? Because that's what I'm gonna do. I am so tired. There is only one thing, one thing only, that's gonna keep me up and help me go to bed later so I can get in this time zone. <laughs> you guys could see what you're standing on right now. My Nintendo Switch and a giant one and a half litre bottle of smart water. But no, it is my second full day in New York. No, we did like the busy parts yesterday, like went to Times Square, Central Park and all of that. Those touristy things I feel like you have to see, but for me, I just want to feel like a local. I want to blend in. I just want to go have breakfast, have a coffee, look around. I'm going to Soho, I think it's low key, but also uh, not low-key. Do you know what I mean? No, no, no. I'm sorry guys. This clip, this clip is annoying me because I was just trying to seem cool. I was just trying to seem cool and like I knew what I was talking about. That Soho was low-key, the Gen Z Times Square. I don't care. I liked Soho. <laughs> is melted good morning guys it is currently what did you see my pants also what do you think of this hotel robe i'm really contemplating stealing it should i steal it no i shouldn't say that on here yesterday i was a local i was a local went to a workout class and i got the best bagel i've had so far leon bagels oh my goodness oh my goodness after i ate that bagel is when i started looking at flights to come again I tell you this if i tell you this i want no judgment this because i'm judging myself actually so no no judge me you're more than welcome to judge me because i feel physically sick so my hair has not been doing its thing in new york i don't know what it is i think it's probably the heat i'm sweating whereas normally i don't leave the house so my hair stays the same all day and the only thing i bought was my heatless curler i've been doing my heatless curls they've all been good all been fun all been fresh until after pilates so then after pilates i was like you know what Let's do it. Let's book a blow dry. And I was looking at all these places and there was no availability. And I was like, girl, I need help now. So I was on TikTok and I was looking at like blow dries in New York and I found this one. And I was like, oh my God, perfect. I'll go there. Now I booked, went online and I went to book it. And the price of the blow dry was expensive. But the thing is, do I have that money to spend on a blow dry? No, I'm just irresponsible and will spend my money on stupid things, as you can see by the amount of times I go to supermarkets. Have you guys heard of girl math? Because that, I couldn't relate to something more. I was gonna order some trainers before I left and I decided, no, I'm gonna get them while I'm out here. They didn't have them in my size. So I decided to book this blow dry because I was like, well, the technically the blow dry is free because I was gonna get the trainers, but I didn't get the trainers. That is my logic and that is my problem. So I went to go get my blow dry. The guy that did it was absolutely insane, amazing. Was it true like fixing my hair if we didn't like anything? But then thank God, 
wanted to buy one of the products that he used. So I went to the desk and went to bought the products. And because I booked it online, I thought I already prepaid because I put my card details in. And then she tells me my total. I was hoping in my brain that I heard her wrong. I got my receipt. Do you want to know how much it was? Two hundred. I know, I know. How did I miss that up? This is why you read things, people, because I clearly thought that I was still getting a bougie blow dry about 80 pounds. So yeah, for the foreseeable of this vlog, I will just be in my hotel room. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later, guys. But no, today I think I wanna do a bus tour because there's so much of New York that I wanna see, but it's all so overwhelming. So I think sitting on the top of one of those like buses I can just look. I really just want to take in New York because otherwise when I'll leave, I'll be like, oh my God, I feel like I didn't see that. So I want to go on one of the top of those buses. I'm going to go on a little snack run. I'm going to get myself some snacks. Actually, I might get myself some lunch. Hmm. Or both. guys it is the last day normally you know when it gets to a holiday and it's like towards the end and you're like you know what i'm excited to go home but it's not one of them holidays i don't want to leave I'm trying to i'm not even joking i swear people beep in new york just for fun currently packing trying to trying not to get stressed i thought i could give you guys a snack haul because i had one person one person dm me saying i need an american snack haul that's all I needed. That's all I needed to put it in this video. So, shout out to you. They're probably not watching my YouTube, actually. Shout out to you anyway. Oh my god, I got a stomach ache. Oh my god, I got a stomach ache. Oh. I'm gonna run through this really quick because at this point, I've posted two videos in a row where I'm literally just talking about food. These are so good. I'm not opening them. They're going in my suitcase. I think I want to take these home. These Reese's Animal Crackers. I haven't finished them yet. Plain. You guys know I love Tony's, right? You guys know I love Tony's Chagaloni. But look what I found in Whole Foods and everything bar. I have never seen this one, an everything bar. It has, what's it have in it? Milk chocolate with caramel, pretzels, almond, and sea salt. Stunning. Hand luggage. This one, so good. I found these in Trader Joe's onion chips. What? Listen, there's no crunch. Oh, that one was crunchy. Crispy jalapeno pieces from Trader Joe's are so good. I bought some of these back last time I went to America and I loved putting them in salads. I am so excited for summer to be over. I genuinely am. I do like summer, but I hate summer fashion. I hate it. It's uncomfortable, it's sweaty. What I love is autumn winter fashion. And I love autumn winter scents, the vibes, the pumpkin spice lattes. You do not understand how much of a whore I am for a pumpkin spice latte. And I found maple latte foaming soap in Whole Foods. I haven't even smelt it yet. I probably shouldn't have opened that. Oh well. Oh my god. And the last thing I got is true fruit. I really wanted to get the frozen ones, but obviously I don't have a freezer. I found the freeze dried ones. Let's try them. I 
like a my flight is at 8 it's currently 11 a.m the only thing i want to do before i go is get my last bagel at leon bagels so let's go Have you guys seen the... Have you guys seen the... Have you guys seen... 